Joining me right now is the co-founder of Big Green, The Kitchen, and Square Roots. He is Kimball Moss. Kimball, great to see you. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you so much for joining us. And you know, we used to talk about agriculture and think, oh, that's boring. But there's so much going on in agriculture right now in farming. It's really exciting. It's really exciting. Yeah, so what's going on over the past 20 years, the internet is really, and the connected world has really impacted almost every, every industry you can imagine. And it is now starting to impact agriculture and food. Everything from how we farm our land uh, all the way to getting food delivered to your home with the, with the press of a button on your phone. This is really just happening in, in 20, 2017, 2018. It's very exciting. But you've created gardens right in the middle of huge urban areas like Chicago, like yeah. New York City. Tell us about that. Yeah, so Big Green builds learning gardens which uh, teach kids science through the growing of, of food. And we are all about scale. We're all about reaching a lot of kids. Uh, we build 100 uh, learning gardens at a time. We started in, in Denver. We, we, our big growth was in Chicago in partnership with Mary Emanuel. And now we're in seven cities, and we just announced Detroit. So what kind of a reaction are you getting? Do you think that people understand sort of the rarity of this, the fact that there are portions of America where you have, you're very far, you don't have access to fresh food? Honestly, it's most of America. Most of America is really disconnected from fresh food. And uh, it's, it's a massive opportunity for entrepreneurs in America to bring fresh food, real food, to Americans. It's what they're demanding. Uh, it's an incredible business, but it's also a really good thing to bring to, to America. Well, that, that, that's the best of it, because when you go outside of America, it's even worse. It's, it's, it can be in many countries be much worse. Tell me how you secure food in, in the country. I mean, people are worried about terrorism making its way through that. Well, I think uh, there, there are many, many issues with terrorism. I think the food supply is probably one of the less, less, lesser challenges. Um, but for, for us, it's about, for me, it's about making sure our food is producing good, real food. Most of our farmland is, grows ethanol, uh, corn for ethanol, which is, you know, carbon neutral at best, and um, it's just a waste of land. So it's really, a, again, another huge opportunity for entrepreneurs to go and, and figure out what to do with that beautiful, fertile soil we have and actually grow food. And in terms of pricing right now, what can you tell us in terms of how prices have changed given the moves in commodities? Well, the commodities have actually been depressed, so uh, things are, are a lot lower cost over the past few years. And I think we'll even get lower as we uh, learn that ethanol isn't a great use of our land, and that'll even create more supply in our farmland. Let me ask you, Kimball, uh, your mother must be really proud. Thank Between you. you and your brother, Elon Musk, uh, the CEO uh, uh, of Tesla, you guys have gone in these incredible, innovative uh, directions. Uh, our mother's a great inspiration. I mean, she's an entrepreneur herself, and uh, she... It's at the top of her career. She's seven years old. Wow. What, she's an entrepreneur as well? She's an entrepreneur and a, and a well-known do? model. Oh, okay. Yeah. She, it's, it's, she's the cover girl uh, model. Wow. At 70, she's the oldest uh, in history. Of Are you? I didn't yeah. know that. You That's didn't know fantastic. that? I mean, she's a bigger celebrity than my brother and I, so. <laughs> wow. Uh, you're on the board of Tesla as well, and I know that you're not going to go there in terms of talking about specific things, but Elon says he's going to be paid now on Tesla stock performance. That's, that's sticking his neck out there, right? My brother's always done that. Uh, I'm very proud of no my brother. No guaranteed salary. No guaranteed salary. Um, he, uh, he's always done that, and, I, and I'm very proud of him. He really believes in the mission of Tesla. Uh, I believe, we, we all believe, and I believe, and very proud of him for taking a company that has been needed and against all odds, uh, bringing the world into an alternative energy future. When he ca first came home and said, look, this is what I want to do, did you guys agree? Did you laugh at him? I mean, just... Well, we, we, we've all our lives done crazy things, so it was just one other crazy thing we were going to do. This is two, 15 years ago. And, you know, after a while, you just say, you know, let's go for it. Let's see what, I, what can I do to help. It's pretty incredible when you look at, like, changing industries. I mean, you're doing it as well in terms sure. of agriculture. Yeah, you're it, changing yeah. an industry. Well, I don't know if we're, I'm, I give my brother more credit than me, but uh, for me, it's about making a difference. And then over time, hopefully the, we, we will see a major change. I mean, we had Carlos Ghosn on the show earlier, and he's talking about electric vehicles and autonomous vehicles. But it's Elon Musk who really stuck his neck out a long time ago and said, look, this is what the future looks like. Now we're talking about flying cars, too. I'll, I, won't, I won't comment on flying cars. <laughs> <laughs> you are being honored this week with the Global Social Entrepreneur Award for your work in changing American farming. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you very much. What it's, it's has changed in American farming uh, uh, since your time? Well, I think the thing I'm most excited about is what we're working on at Square Roots in New York. Square Roots is an urban farming accelerator, and what we're doing in New York is bringing back farm, local farming into the city. 
We're taking old storage containers, converting them into indoor farms. Each indoor farm, literally a traditional shipping container, becomes the equivalent of two acres of outdoor growing. And we give it to a young entrepreneur, 18 to 24, in partnership with the USDA. And they run that business for a year, and they, they sell and grow and sell local greens to their community in New York. In fact, at the Fox Business Center, you guys could order your greens today, and someone would come by this afternoon with freshly harvested greens from this morning in New York City. I think we want that. Yeah, yes, you I, do. I think that my colleagues in New York would like to see that. How, how hard is that to do? To have uh, it's the technology, back yeah, to the, technology, the innovation right? in, te tech today, in food today is incredible. Uh, we have an entrepreneur who, who took the summer of, two, of 2009 basil in Italy and recreated it indoor. Literally the climate, the temperature, the humidity, what days did it rain, what, what time did the sun come up, what time did it set, and is able to recreate basil, literally the same basil you would have gotten in 2009, which is a classic vintage for basil, in the city of New York all year round. That is incredible. It really is amazing. And, and it's safe and it's food delicious. Safe, and absolutely it's the safest way you could possibly grow food. How about healthy? I mean, it, Delicious, nourishing, real food. Yeah. And you're seeing a real movement toward healthier, yeah. uh, organic. Real food is what I call food that you trust to nourish your body, food that you trust to nourish the farmer, and food that you trust to nourish the planet. That's the other great thing about indoor farming is it's so much better in terms of water use. Uh, it's right. There's no transportation costs. There's no transportation impact on the climate. And it's harvested literally this morning for your, for your consumption today. Great stuff. Kimball, thanks for doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. Love it. Really happy to talk with you. Thank you so much for your time, Ray. Kimball Musk joining us there.